Hello YouTube and our topic of today is how does a fluorescent tube light work. So first of all I'll tell you about all the main components of this circuit. See in the light we have the three main components majorly. One is the chalk coil, second is this tube, the fluorescent tube and the third one is starter. So first I'll tell you about this chalk coil. You can see the ratings of this coil here. Now what's inside this chalk coil there's a uh, on this normal iron core there is a coil has been bound here and what is the main work of this coil see there's a difference between a normal inductor and coil the work of this coil the it depends on the what is the work in the circuit the work of this coil is to produce a high voltage shock uh, uh, for this tube light when we need to light up this light okay so how does it produce a high voltage stroke we know the relation V equals to L di by a dt and when there will uh, we know that uh, the coils uh, oppose the change in current and when there will be a change in current in the circuit the voltage uh, will be very high and it will uh, it will supply a very high voltage now we see the what what does this thing do see on the both sides of this uh, tube light we have these two terminals on that uh, in opposite side also and on this side and inside this we have a normal cathode as we see in incandescent bulbs if you can please imagine there is a uh, cathode on this side and on the opposite side also see and inside this there has been a gas has been filled some part of a liquid mercury and this chlor fluorescent coating of uh, uh, the uh, phosphorus so the white phosphorus which is kind of a mixture of some colorful phosphorus is now the third thing is starter and what's inside this starter uh, the, the, there is a capacitor and in parallel of that capacitor there is a bimetallic strip of this shape if I show you by focusing I think you can see that strip inside this bulb also there a gas has been filled inside this bulb and how does this thing work when there will be uh, the, uh, see uh, this is the biometallic strip and when there will be a, a, a voltage across these two parts of this these two parts of the strip a spark will be generated inside this strip and that spark will heat up this gas inside this bulb and that uh, if there will be an uh, increase in temperature that will increase the temperature of these strips and these strips will get connected and after some time uh, they uh, after some time when the the temperature will decrease this as there will be no spark the temperature will decrease so the uh, strips will get away and when they'll be get away there will be a shock uh, there will be a change in current in this circuit now let me explain you the circuit see okay now i want you to imagine these uh, this thing and this thing as two resistances connected in parallel please imagine like this and see the circuit starts right here we give our ac input the circuit will go from here to here the coil and then the, these this part is just think about just this is a simple wire from here to here here to here 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 initial the initially this circuit will be activated okay and when the circuit will be activated there will be a voltage across this strip and it will get heated up and it will get connected so the circuit will be connected and thus the when the circuit will be connected there will be current flow from this tungsten cathodes and these will heat up and these will heat up the gas and, and there, there will be no light inside the tube but it will just heat up the molecules of the gas inside it now the main part comes here when this these strips will get cool this will get away from this this will oppose it and when this will get away from it there will be a change in current in this circuit and when there will be a change in current there will be a high voltage shock will be given from this inductor coil and when this uh, inductor coil will supply high voltage this voltage will appear across this tube light and this will break down the insulation of uh, these gases and these gases will start going from one part to another and see just think about is it as a normal simple wire what happens inside a simple wire when current flows electron flow from one place to another so now inside this tube electrons the electrons of these gas molecules will flow from one place to another so it will work as a simple wire so the circuit will now will be this 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 circuit will break up and it will not be activated again uh, during the lightning of this tube light so now the current will flow from here to here and these electrons will collide to the surface of this fluoride fluorescent material and the tube light will work. This is it. Thank you.